Can we go through callouts very quickly? I know it's product, but get yeah. everyone on the same page. So I'm I'm gonna be saying what I what I call these spots, not That's what fine. they're actually called. <laughs> because obviously I've been playing this map a long time, so my callouts are ancient and not used anymore. <laughs> as long the, as we're all on the same page. This is pug spot or dog bread. The reason that it's called dog bread is is inside this hand there's a, a little pug bread. Dog dog made out of bread. But this is dog bread. Pug spot. Uh, connector. Boxes. Crates. Our rock. Their rock. This is Japan. Right? And then this is under Japan. Everyone calls this Maine, but I'm gonna. I, I I always get stuck calling it under China. So this is under China or patio, but if you hear me say under China, it's the same thing. Ch China is more so up here, like that specific spot. So if someone if someone calls China, it's they're mostly talking about this this location. So this underneath is, China is usually porch. Porch patio, yeah. Yeah, just call it porch. In, in the heat of the moment, I'm gonna call it under China. It's no if and or two ways about it. Yeah, definitely. Not. Cliff pocket backyard or yard or just this is grass. I know there's grass all over this fucking map, but this is this is specifically called grass. Concrete or flank. This is silly spot or sniper spot, not sniper spot, silly spot or pixel spot or edge spot. If if someone calls that, we need to know that he's watching our our Japan. Mm. Places to check for when we push out. There's this pipe spot. Soldiers um scouts can hide here, jump down on medic. Everyone's favorite Plank spot needs to be checked for players. You can't just walk through here and not check it. And then this spot also needs to be checked. It can be very easily missed. Because you, you walk through here and you don't even fucking notice it. Typically, when we re when we refight... Uh, we push out through main, we clear our house and our grass, and then our flank's able to take grass, and our combo's able to decide where to push from, whether we want our snipers, sniper peeking through Japan or under China, under Japan or under China, whichever one. Um... The typical sack sacking position is getting up down to cliff here, buffing our players, and then letting them drop down here. Heavy can drop down here. Pyro can drop down here. Scout can drop down here. Uh, soldier and demo bomb in and try to land on the medic. That's a typical sack. But really, honestly, you can come from anywhere if you're not if you're not a soldier or a demo man. Like, you can drop down here, going for a sack. You can be waiting over here to go for a sack. All that sorts of goodies. Oh, one one I forgot. Not that it, it probably needs to be called out. It is a sixes call out more so. But, uh, Pride. It's like Pride Rock from The Lion King. Pride is above Cliff, and... You know that small roof that sort of like to say around near Connector, above Connector area? Just call it Highlander or Gabe or Seagull or something like that. If you oh. talk more, if if you know what type of roof I'm talking about, it's Highlander spot. Only Highlander players play there. All right. Anyways, I want to talk about uh, strategies now, and what what how I'm going to be playing mid fights. 
It's all right. We all do our rollout. I'm gonna bomb up here. I'm gonna be. I'm gonna be right around this area, waiting for a arrow. And uh, I will be attempting to get sticky bombs on Japan here. So if you if you if you hear me say they're nuked, that's because I got three stickies here, and their combo didn't respect me and walk through. And then I debted on them, and it, it got their medic, their demo, their heavy, their pyro. It, it just got a bunch of the players because I was I managed to get stickies here. And they still walked up through Japan, despite me having stickies there. So if I ever say they're they're nuked, that's what I'm talking about at the start of a mid fight. And if that happens, I'm gonna get aggressive, and I would like to see my team get aggressive with me as well. Hmm. Otherwise, I'm watching for sniper. From this location, I can see if the sniper's playing under Japan in the backyard. I can see if he's rotating up cliff. And wherever I see him playing at, I'm going to rotate to the other side. So if he's playing Cliff, I'm going to rotate over here. If he's playing China, I'm going to rotate over here. Edge spot, pixel spot, silly spot. Oh, that causes silly spot. Okay, okay, okay. Okay. Edge, Never mind then. edge spot, pixel spot, or silly spot. It's right mm -hmm. here. Anyway, so I'm going to be rotating to each side, depending on Sniper's location. If Sniper is not a problem, or Sniper is dead, or we have picks, and we have player advantage, I'm going to play further up on point. I'm mm -hmm. going to play on point like this. Being aggressive. And I'd like to see my team be aggressive with me too, because like that doesn't need to be said, that just needs to be a second... <laughs> second hand second nature uh, aggression that you, that you just need to feel the flow of combat if that makes sense can you talk about uh forward hold versus passive hold so one thing we need to start trying as cam was talking about demo man holding under their japan for a forward hold cuz from here I can spam two chokes with 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 a with stick with a with a with a um an explosive class can spam two chokes. I can spam their main rollout and I can spam their grass rollout. Heavy heavy can be uh, on grass here, battling anyone that comes up. Scout can be around demo man, right? Can help. He can rotate over and help heavy. Heavy can even be up here. If needs be on these rocks crates, I want Scout rotating around like this. And if he needs to, he can also rotate up up to help Soldier. Soldier will now be the new spot for Soldier is up here. It's because Soldier can watch this and spam him out. And if he gets pushed out, uh, he just backs off. He can also rotate over and uh, get spam on. Con get spanned on main on main entrance and uh, cliff cliff entrance. Uh, Ian, I believe on a forward hold, you play like around here because you can watch you can watch two of the entrances. You can see you can see cliff entrance and you can see grass entrance. I mean. Where am I supposed to rotate to in this scenario, then? And who's watching me anyways if I am on rock? It's a lot easier to do it from the other side. Oh, maybe the spy can get you on rock. Anyways, that's the forward hold that cam talks about the old the old forward hold is demo man is uh up here with heavy and soldiers up here with scout and we're, we're basically giving them grass for free now the reason why this one isn't as good as for what cam says is you have one explosion class watching one exit in one explosive class, watching another exit, and that's leaving this one free for them to push out of. 
if that makes sense. But with your demo man here, he's able to watch two. He's able to spam at two exits while having your third explosive class. Like they, they get spam when they walk out of every single one of the exits. Anyways, let's talk about. Uh, that's that's enough about a forward hold. All right. The next forward hold, or the aggressive hold, is having our snipe, having our medic, pug spot. And then our demo man plays forward around here. And our heavy maybe gets on their cliff, on their rock up here. Unless unless they push us back, then our heavy's like playing around here. Demo man's playing around here. And our flank is aggressive over here. But we should always, if our soldier's alive, we should always be looking to uh, bomb, bomb him into a, uh, their combo. So if our soldier's alive over here, just just take an ex uh, just one v oneing their soldier, right? Our soldier's up here. We need to call the rotate, so he rotates over, gets a buff, and then bombs into them cliff. And then like we can follow that up by having our heavy climb up here, having our demo walk forward, fight into them. Like those are the kind of things we need to be uh, watching for. That's also the uh, same thing with the spy. So, CeeLo, if you're ever, like, uh, in a good position, I don't know where spy positions are on this map, but say you were able to get onto pipe here. I don't know if the spy is able to get up there. But uh, you tell us they're going cliff, and we can make some noise. If you just let us know, you're like, I'm, I'm going to decloak on them. If you let me know, I'll try to make some noise. I'll try to walk forward and overextend and get them to look at me. And hopefully they don't... Uh, hopefully other players on our team do the same. Because I'll, I'll say All something. Right. I'll be like, uh, make, make space for our spy. Walk forward, spam them, draw eyes, draw eyes. And that, that can happen on any, any side of the point. So like even if we're playing pocket, or we're just pushing up through uh, main here, and then, like, they're behind their rock. If you tell us, like, hey, draw eyes, I, I need, can you guys make some space for me? I'm going in for a stab. I can go, I can tell the, our team to be like, all right, everyone, everyone peek the combo right now. Let's get spam on the combo. And then I'll, I'll, I'll expose myself. Pyro will expose himself, shoot flares, heavy will uh, shoot them. Like, just, that that's that's just something we just need to naturally get better at doing. All right, creating space for spy, and then at the same time, like soldier can bomb in if he hears that call as well. Which I wish uh, Cher was here. Where is he at? Anyways, let's not just talk the whole time. Unless there's any other uh, any, any other questions. No, not really. Relic is pretty basic for me, so I know what to do. I assume we've played this map a ton. I assume that uh, Kega is going to be playing flank a lot. So yeah, I'm going to be rotating around. Like, Raze, yeah. I'm going to need I'm I'm going to need you to uh, play off me. Same with you, puppers. If you know if you know the spy isn't behind us or something. We might want to start. We might want to start playing with, with the idea of uh, sacking Pyro in after Spy is dead. Yeah, just How need somebody to take care of soldier bombing, etc. Because medic mm. or medic needs to go. Be safe. I'm all for detonator jumping in the middle of their team, but we need the right criteria. Oh yeah, ways you have the right to chase spy and product. Like mm -hmm. if you know the spy is at, you yeah. can just chase the spy and then go back to the combo. Like, yeah, I, I know, know that Asian scout and Highlander chase spy. Yeah, Boy, yeah, scout, scout is able to chase down spy, especially on such a small map like this. The scout being a combo member, uh, he should actually be chasing down spy.